Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to English Football Club Barcelona, your Barcelona channel in English. Well, tomorrow we have a match, and there are many news we have to talk about today. So, without more delay, let's start. <laughs> As I was saying in the previous, in the intro of the video, we have a match tomorrow. We have to go to Pamplona, to El Sadar, to play against Osasuna. One, uh, a great team, actually. It was expected to be one of the strongest teams from this medium seven this year. Sadly, it's not like that. And it's I said sadly because it's one of, my, uh, of the teams near my home. And I always, of course, want them to, to win, especially when they face Real Madrid. But, well, uh, today, Xavi did the press conference about this match. And then he talked about many things very interested, or interesting, sorry. For example, uh, first of the things he talked about the match of tomorrow, that he said that probably the problem of Osasuna is that they defend quite, quite good that we are going to have problems to pass them, but what we have to do is what always he expects Barcelona, he expects Barcelona to do, to control the match, to have the ball, to create chances, uh, opportunities, etc. But he said that it's going to be complicated because Barcelona really defend the area very good, and actually they have a very direct football. So it's going to be very difficult to compete against them, so let's expect. Other things he talks it was about Bainages. I think that's the name, Albert Bainages. Uh, if you don't know who's this guy, we didn't talk about this because I didn't read it yesterday, it appeared a bit later. And it seems that Barcelona, from the formative team, from the base team, from the kids, talking more, more, dark, more clearly, uh, this guy has been caught by the police because he was he was in a kind of pedophilia thing. I'm not sure how it worked, um, or I don't know how to explain you exactly. Anyway, uh, as Chavi was asked about this, he said that he's surprised about this because he was one of his teachers when he was in La Masia. Uh, he has a lot of respect for him. Actually, he has said that he has nothing to talk about that, that lets justice do its process. Um, be, and, ask, and also he said, I have no information about what it has appeared. I do not know anything, so uh, I have nothing to talk about this. It's a very complicated thing because it seems that some kids or it's, I don't know exactly because I didn't read it. I was surprised, but I didn't get to read it. It seems that he got some problems with some kids and during the years, not not just now, it seems that it has been, happened during the years. He was in working for Barcelona, and then he has been he has released his position, and now it's the justice who has to work about that. And then he has talked about other things about players, for example, Luke de Jong. He has said that we have he has characteristics different from Memphis Depay. So we have to use him to take profit from him. About the how the, the the team is now after being eliminated by the Champions League, he has said that uh, he's worried about this, especially because the feeling of the of the plantel. But we have no time to be sad. We have no time to be thinking about that. We have to recover. We have to win. We have to go up. That's true. We have no time now to be sad. We have to keep fighting for La Liga because now. If I'm not wrong, we are eighth. Let's say right before. Later we can see it because I put the the table there. But we are eight. We are six points far away from Champions League, uh, from the Champions League's positions, and we have to really try to get there. That should be at least the main objectives of the season. And then he has talked about the the players that anemically that they don't have technical problems or whatever. That it's a problem of more it's a more psychological problem that they are they are they have like a defeat mental uh, issue instilled on their minds i'm not sure if i'm being 
clear on that sentence, but it means that the players are used to lose. They don't have the mind, the, the winning mind in that moment. And he has to do a bit of psychological work on the players to let them change that. And also he has talked about many other things now, about players in the market. He has said that in this moment, everyone is untrans- everyone has to stay. Actually, Barcelona, it seems that they don't think that, that they want to sell some players, for example, Ter Stegen, Luke Dijon, sorry, Frankie Dijon. They are important players or Dest. They are players who may be out uh, probably to, um, well, Umtiti and Coutinho that I read yesterday, and that's the same always. They are always in the to to be out later weeks like to but well um all those things he was asked about and uh, well let's see because also soon enough, last year we won zero two actually is another field or where we used to to lose um as soon as this year is not having a great season actually uh last year I don't remember, uh, we were winning 1-0 and then Moriba scored. So no, I read wrong because we are seventh yet. That's a table of some minutes ago. Well, anyway, uh, as you can see, Osasuna is there on the fifth, no, on the 11th, but they've lost the last three matches and they drew the last two. Actually, at home, they have, they have just won one match this year from the <clears throat> Sorry, from the last nine matches they have played at uh, Al Sadar, El Sadar, they drew four and they lost four. So as I'm saying, they are not exactly where they are, it's expected from this team this year because it's quite good actually. They have a great team, I think, and the position where they are, it should be a bit better. But um, I think it's a good chance to recover from what happened. But let's see because lately. If we don't score, this is the convocation, the squad list of Barcelona. And we have, uh, well, we have Abde, Abde, Balde, Gabi, but we have one special player more, Jude Gla. Okay, Jude, guys, Jude Gla, here we have a picture of him, is from uh, from Barcelona B. Um, actually, he was from, no, wait a second. Yeah, I think it's from Barcelona B, if I'm not wrong. I don't remember exactly now because I'm reading all the information, but I don't, I'm not sure. Anyways, he's, he was formed in El Espan- in Espanol. He's not exactly from La Masia. He's from uh, La Masia, but from the other ca- the other team of the cl- of the city from El Espanol. And it's uh, it's incredible this year because um, he has come because we don't have Memphis to buy. As you know, we have some players injured. Jordi Alba is one of them, as you can see, or you could see in the convo, it's not in the list. Memphis the buy either, and uh, neither, sorry. And to solve that position, we are getting another player from La Masia, from Barcelona B, and this is Jude Gla. This year, he has scored at least four matches and four assistances in 15 games. It's true that it's not exactly many. After 15 matches, it's not that those good numbers. But well, it's a player who just came to Barcelona, and probably tomorrow we are going to see the plantel there. Um, then we have some problems to solve about because. I'm reading a lot of information of players who are uh, who have been pointed out as problems. For example, Ter Stegen. Ter Stegen is not the first time he has a problem. It's actually since a long time ago, since since Kuman arrived or since that 2-8, it seems that he's he has lost a lot of concentration, uh, that lately even he's failing taking the ball away from his foot. Um, yeah, and, and even it's not that safe when we are having pro- defensively problems as before. So his performance is quite war, quite not good. Best also has not been that that player that it was expected. Bruno Kuman asked Barcelona to sign him. Barcelona brought him to here. And... It's not what it's expected. It's not just he's playing the problem of playing as uh, a wing. 
<clears throat> that that you can forgive him because it's not his position as when we had Sergio Roberto and we said it's a hole but why because it's not his natural position too so <clears throat> but here even though this as a right back it, it hasn't performed as expected Piquet too Piquet that you can see the pic in the picture it's because since long time ago we've seen Piquet not being the, that Piquet that saved us from many things and the problem that we are having is that if, when we don't have PK we have many mistakes we, we have many problems actually you can see that when Eric Garcia and Langlet were playing together etc we have a lot of problems with that actually but when we played with Eric Garcia and Araujo I think we played quite good so why not to try that formula other one or another of the players is Luke De Jong um, and well, I think the young, but here is not the look the young we're seeing. I think it's meaning Frankie the young. Um, this year, Frankie the young is not playing really well. I mean, uh, it's expected to be one of the leaders of the club in, on the pitch, but uh, it seems that he's he's not playing his natural position. That he's not such an interior, if not a midfielder. Mm. So actually, an, uh, an offensive midfielder, as I read yesterday. So playing as interior is not exactly the same. You have to, and specific plays, and being more offensive on, on an offensive midfielder, you have more freedom. So being subjected to that position, it seems that is making Luke uh, Frank De Jong not being uh, so active and making him disappear. Now. And then we have other players, for example, Memphis, uh, at the beginning it was expected to be the maximal, well, actually he is the maximum scorer of the club, but it was expected to have more protagonism, uh, to be the starting player of the club and in this moment, uh, when we need him uh, playing against great teams, as Real Madrid or the other day against Benfica or Bayern, he disappeared completely. Actually, against Bayern, he completely disappeared. And Dembélé, Dembélé, um, uh, he has actually, I think, um, Xavi and Laporte has talked too much about Dembélé. Like, he's going to be the future Messi, and it's not like that. He's a great player, he has wonderful characteristics or wonderful uh, features, but it's not exactly what they are trying to, to show. No? So let's see, because, well, we have many problems to solve yet. And today Laporta was saying that even the well, we're saying something that they don't like, personally. Uh, he was saying that we are going to reinforce the club, that, they, that we are going to have new players in January. Uh, to keep fighting for La Liga. But then she, he said something that I don't like, personally, until this moment already. No? And he said that we have uh, we have received or we have got some contracts quite elevated and that will not let us move that much, will not give us so much margin for the for January. No? Um yeah, we can be saying this and and in two years or in three years keep saying this because it's an excuse already. And I'm saying this because uh, he had whole summer from last year to make things clear with Coutinho, Umtiti and many players. And they were saying, no, we are not doing it because every contract is individually, it's individual. Every contract is a world, every player has its condition, every player, well, whatever. Now, it's true that contracts are quite difficult to change. That's true. If the player says no, it's impossible to release that. Uh, you have to fire the player and then you probably will have to pay whole, whole contract. As for example, it happened with Kuman that finally Kuman said, well, 10 millions now instead of 12. Well, but and we don't have money to pay those 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 quantities but keep saying well we are not in this situation because what happened in the past it's a bit already like an excuse like a bit a victimism 
Um, I'm getting tired of this kind of victimism because all of us know it. All of us know what the problem is now. We know we have economical problems, but we also expect from the president to give solutions to this problem because that's what he was saying when he was trying to be the president, that he has the formula to solve this problem. And after almost one year, nine months, let's say that, uh, I personally don't see that much change. It's true they have uh, they have started a, a new project for Barca, for the Camp Nou. They have started a new project for to get more money. But um, I think they should have done more things than what they have done until now. Um, those those, for example, about Messi. Don't let him, don't let Messi leave the club, because I'm seeing many people saying Messi uh, the club is like we have it economically because of Messi, and that's a whole lie because Messi got 500 million euros, yeah, but in five years, and part of that money, if I'm not wrong, probably I'm wrong, but I'm not sure, um, part of that money was to pay the uh, the the fees, okay the taxes. So uh, what generated, I, I read once that what Messi generated was uh, three times what he got. So saying that in this moment we have the problems because Messi, it's that's a lie. That we didn't have money to pay Messi, that's true. I don't have money even to pay anyone. But, well, but I think letting Messi go, it was a bad decision, personally. We should have tried to, to or we could have said, okay, you, you, you see, we have problems to sign you. We have these problems. I'm, we are not sure if we can sign you, but if you want, you can talk with other teams. And if the last day of the this, we cannot sign you, you, you are free to sign with another one or something like that. I think Barcelona didn't try enough to keep Messi. And keeping I'm saying this because Messi attract or attracted Many investors, many, uh, yeah, well, many investors, no? and in this moment that Laporta expected to increase the number of partners from 25 to 49, not having Messi is a problem, a real problem. And yeah, now we're having new team, new, new companies that they want to be partner, uh, create a partnership with Barcelona to put their names in the t-shirt, etc. But what we are getting is not that what we got before, like in Qatar or uh, years ago, and he said well, that we still have it, no. So we should try to, I think that was a bad movement. And like this, I'm I'm seeing things that I don't completely understand. For example, this mega project of Barcelona Spay that it was it should have been done long time ago. Now it's going to be one. Uh, it's going to be it's going to double the 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 amount of money that we did already. And uh, I'm I'm really wondering how we are going to pay that because. They are saying, yeah, this is going to generate 200 million euros, a lot. We have to pay 1,500 1, million for this project, for a project that expectedly is going to generate yearly 200 million euros. Yeah, we're going to get the benefits in eight years. But later, we are going to keep maintaining this project. So there are things that I still don't understand. And that Joan Laporta appears there in the Camp Nou saying we are going to reinforce the club, but we have this problem. It is nothing new. It's not, for me, it doesn't give me any, any, don't know how to say, any tranquility. I don't feel released after this speech because you are, exp you are just saying we are going to do these things. But we don't know really if we can do. And you are just pointing the problem away or out. We have problems, economical problems. Yeah, well, say, tell me something new, no? But well, I'm really sorry because the video of today was too long. But anyway, thank you guys for watching us. I hope you enjoyed. I want to know your opinion too. So, you know, down there, there down there, sorry, there is a box where it says comments. So you can, you feel, you can feel free to, 
to write, to type there, whatever you think. And that's all for today. Hope, well, tomorrow we will do the pre-match, I guess. We have time. Yeah, we will have, for sure. Anyway, thank you for watching us and see you tomorrow. Have a nice day.